Hello, my name is Michael Sanchez, and I am the maker and creator of Violin Tutor Pro. And today we're going to jump into an excerpt in the Wolf Art Opus 45 book. And the very first one is a great etude to start off with. It's uh, much easier than the ones that are going to come later. But it's a good warm up, and it's a good one to warm warm up and build up speed. So the first etude is in the key of C. So the biggest notes to remember as far as intonation is going to be your low twos on both the D and the A string and also you will have a low one on the E string that's also an F natural. So let's start right at the beginning. Um, I suggest um, because they're eighth notes start right about here and go to about right here back and forth with each eighth note. Each eighth note. The whole piece is actually eighth notes. You don't want to go all the way to the tip so just about from here back and forth. So let's start right at the beginning. note right there that I hear students play at a tune would be the fourth finger. Make sure you get that high enough. Um, I like playing with a flatter fourth finger because um, I find it easier to hit in tune when it's flatter. Also I feel that having the thumb right here, if you uh, try to curve your pinky too much, your whole hand is going to kind of creep up a little bit. So I suggest having a flat finger to play that four. So there's my flat pinky. string notes, make sure you don't open up your hand. Keep your hand in and you know extend your fingers when you're on the G string and then when you come to the E string keep your knuckles up because the more constant your hand can be from here on down the better um, and that's to be able to play faster. So right now I'm going to measure five. Right here I'm not opening up my hand at all, I'm keeping it in. Measure seven. There's that fourth finger there. Now I'm going to measure, uh, I just played measure ten, now I'll measure eleven. So right there, we're playing basically arpeggios. So make sure your intonation, like when you hit the four, is in tune. You can match it up with your E string. All right, now we are in measure 13. Right there, make sure your two and one on the D string are touching. Those are half steps. Measure 17, low one, so right there in that measure there, make sure you're playing low one on the E and normal one on the A string because those are two different finger positions. Next line. crossovers. Make sure your elbow is moving a little bit and also your wrist to get those clean crossovers. Uh, two measures from the end. And finally we have a note other than an eighth note and the dotted half note. All right so this is great to you know practice uh, when you're first starting out to warm up. Um, I just played it maybe moderate tempo. It might go a little faster once you build up speed. Let's try it maybe a little bit faster from top to bottom. Thank you. 
should have further excerpts of the Wolf Art series and uh, my videos, lessons. <laughs> 